Today is March 31st, 2018. Today I'm working on making some blocks for the castle. Before I explain this, let me show you some pictures to get an understanding of what we're talking about here. So here's what the castle is going to look like. All right, so you see we get a lot of round turrets. And uh, I'm working, I finished all the blocks I need for the, the home gym. It's this room. And then now, these three turrets on the front, these are two uh, turrets, and then this is a round stairwell. They're all the same size. So what I have to do is I have to cut concrete insulated form blocks, also called ICFs, and to make them fit that radius. And that's what I'm going to do right now. All right, so first thing we get is the concrete insulated form blocks. So last uh, fall I ordered like $10,000 worth of block. There's this massive pile on the side of the house here and this is how they come. They're called knockdown blocks. You can get them all pre-assembled uh, but you end up paying shipping uh, mostly dead air space in the middle. It's better to get these knockdown blocks that you assemble yourself. So that's what I'm going to do first is assemble a block. blocks go together pretty quick. So there's a concrete insulated form block. They get these little nubs <coughs> on them so that uh, when you uh, put the blocks together <coughs> you just stack them like Lego blocks like this. Put those nubs on the line. Okay and then you'll put a, I don't have rebar, but you'll put a piece of rebar in here then call a concrete truck to uh, come and fill it. And also you put the uh, vertical rebar in here. So that works fine for the straightaways, but <clears throat> what we need are round blocks for the round turrets. So we've got six different round turrets in the castle. You know, I first attempt at this was to make a, a guide and then cut the blocks by hand, but that proved that they uh, they didn't fit together very well, so I needed a, a more precise way of cutting. So I developed this thing here, this jig, to give me very, very precise cut. So, there's a, in the uh, instruction manual, uh, there's, a, there's one page in the instruction manual that gives you all the charts, for, so if you're doing a, uh, so we're doing a, a, uh, a turret that's about 7 feet, it has, it's about 14 feet across, so it needs to cut every foot of about 2 inches, so that's what I have to out. So this was very, very precisely measured. Another thing I did was I built a hot wire cutter. This is incredible. Uh, so I got a transformer online and this is a nichrome wire and when I turn this on with my dimmer control this thing gets up to 800 degrees. And uh, now I, I put metal strips on here to guide the wire so I get an absolute perfect cut every time. All right, so I'm going to cut this block up. You see it goes pretty quick. This, with the hot wire, goes right through the styrofoam just like it's butter. blocks. Now these blocks have another special need. If you have karate kids, this is this is what you use the blocks for. Okay, Camille. Good Kia. Alright. 
Alright, so my little block weight breaker. Alright, so now we've got our block all cut up. You can see that the hot wire makes an absolutely perfect cut every time. Uh, Alright, so now, see the idea behind this is we're going to bend these, but it's still a little bit hard to bend. So we need to make what they call relief cuts on this side to let it bend a little, a little, a little freer. There's my relief cuts. And I guess you gotta do a little bit of cleanup here. This would be when I was doing this all with uh, just a saw before you get these balls, it gets in the kids, it gets everywhere. In the okay, so now so I got the relief cuts in. Let's see, it goes to goes together a lot easier because it bends just a little bit on the back end. Okay, so now we've got to glue it together. And uh, we use this, this type of glue that's really great. It's really great stuff. It's it's great stuff. <laughs> Normally this comes in a in a smaller can and and it's really hard to work with because it, it gets gummed up all the time. But um, when you use it with the gun type, it's a little more expensive, but it works really really well. Okay. Um, take a look at this. So when you put these two blocks together and they're bent, they're going to be like that. So we want to put more glue on the top line than we do uh, on, on the bottom where they come together. So I found a better way of doing that recently is to put two beads on. So this is a jig that I built that exactly, perfectly matches the radius of the turret that we're building for right now. And I got some bungee cords at the hardware store. The curve on this block is a little bit tighter than the last set of blocks I did from the gym because it's a smaller radius so we gotta put these bungee cords on a lot tighter than the last blocks I was producing. Get the gaps a little bit more here. So the key to making these things fit together is just really pressing them in and making sure that they're each one is right up snug against the other one. So this uh, needs to sit for about two hours and then the glue uh, sets up. So we'll let this one set and in the meantime I'll make another one. So once I finish making the blocks they have to go somewhere. Can't fit them in the house so I'm storing them outside here. Here's my block pile. It's getting bigger and bigger. So I've made 86 blocks for the uh, gym turret and I've only made a, about three so far for the um, front round turret on the entrance. Uh, you can see this block over here is a gym block. See it says gym on it so I know the difference. Um, 
got a much more gradual curve in it and this one is a much smaller radius so it's a it's a tighter curve these blocks are a little bit harder to uh, to make you have to pull those bungee cords really really tight to hold them in place so that's my block project once the snow is off the ground we still got a little more snow left then I can get up to the mountain <laughs> to make a hundred trips with the pickup truck to get all these blocks up there but then uh, probably in about two weeks be able to start moving these things up there and putting them on the footings and building the foundation okay so now we've waited about two hours and the blocks have uh, the glue's all set up and let's take off the bungee cords so now we get a good block on a curve and then what I gotta do is take out the little pieces of glue inside here There's one. Check out these. Make sure there isn't any glue in the nubs or it won't, or it won't work. Okay. Uh, sometimes we lose a few nubs along the way. It's okay. Alright, so the final QA is uh, make sure that. Oops, I forgot my master block. The master block. So this is part of the QA process. Oh man, this, this is the part right here. Look at that. Got a bunch of them here. Glue in the in the nub. That's gonna come out. Okay. All right. There we go. All right. So final QA of the process. This is the first block that I made. So. We're going to make sure that both sides of the block fits this. So every block in the castle, in, in the, this turf, for example, has to, has to fit the master block. And if it doesn't fit, then you go back and do some rework. Okay, that's a perfect fit. Now we have a, a finished block that's ready, ready to go outside in the block pile. And we're done! That's what it takes to make a block. But I wanted to show you one more thing that's, uh, that's really cool. Remember? Remember the movie Envy with uh, it was Ben Stiller and Jack Black. So, Jack Black had invented, was an inventor, and he had invented this thing to make dog poo disappear. So imagine you have a, a pile of dog poo. Like the And he called his invention the, the vaporizer because it's just a spray and it will make the, the dog poo go away. <laughs> this is a real world vaporizer. Okay, here we go. All gone. <laughs> dog poo gone. <laughs> Ojalá, I'm going to make a million dollars from <laughs> Enough to pay for the <laughs> castle. Para los diapers de los niños. Yeah. Moms ricos. everywhere will be oh, celebrating. Oh. No, just spray lo, the kids. Take the diaper papá. off and spray the kids. <laughs> okay, okay, that's a wrap. <laughs>